Hey everyone, I'm Steve from GamersNexus.net and we're wrapping up our PAX Prime 2015 coverage. One of the last items we looked at today was Cast AR, which is an augmented reality solution. So this is different than what we've looked at with the HTC Vive or Oculus Rift, for instance, which are both VR or virtual reality solutions. With AR, you still see and can interact with the outside world, so it's not as isolating as VR. And with Cast AR specifically, we're using glasses. So you put the glasses on, there are two high refresh rate flickering lenses in those glasses, so 120 hertz on the refresh rate from memory. And then atop the lenses are two projectors, and the projectors shoot down whatever you're playing at a surface based on where you're looking. And the surface that is used for cast AR is a reflective material, so this is similar to what's found on running shoes, for instance. So you project it down on the surface, and then you can move around to move how the image is projected and where it lands on that surface, which makes it a little bit unique. And a couple of the unique challenges faced by VR would include hand modeling. So in VR, you obviously you can't see your own hands because you have a head-mounted display on. And this is problematic because there's an information con conveyance disconnect in your brain when you're trying to interact with a game. Another challenge is multiplayer. Not really good to try and add another person to the environment when you're both wearing head-mounted, completely isolating displays. So that's something you generally lose with VR solutions. With AR, you're more limited in, in your types of games you can support, in theory, but they're generally a little easier to develop from what we've looked at. And they have a unique slant. So bringing board games, for example, D&D, Magic the Gathering, or more traditional stuff like Battleship, we saw a demo for, Jenga, we saw a demo for, and older PC games that have been around for a while, like Marble Madness, you can do all of that in AR and then interact with it on the surface of the table using a wand controller. So that's what we did. We have some B-roll footage of all of that that should be showing throughout the video. If you're curious what it looks like, we tried to capture it through the actual lens of the device, which was a challenge, but none of this is rendered footage. So this is what it kind of looks like, although in reality, obviously, you've got a bit more three-dimensional depth and some more vertical height and things like that that you can perceive with your own eyes. So that is Cast AR. It's pretty interesting technology. We actually did like it a lot, and if you check the link in the description below, you'll see an article from one of our editors who goes more into the technical detail, how it works, and what its applications are. You can see more about Cast AR going forward, so CES will have the next, the next major update to the technology, and then it's shipping sometime in 2016. So that is all for the Cast AR video coverage. Link in the description below for the full technical details and use case scenarios, things like that, and we'll see you all next time.